Okay, everybody, today we're going to be seeing what it looks like when you break glass filmed at 10 million frames per second. So I was inspired to make this video based on a recent video published by the Slow Mo guys in which they had a long pane of glass and they broke it and they filmed it at their highest rate, I think of around 400,000 frames per second. And in that video, you could see the glass break propagating through the glass. You could see the cracks propagating, but you couldn't really see the individual propagation of cracks. What you saw was basically the overall wave of cracks going through the glass. So I wanted to take it a step further and see if we could actually film it at a much higher rate. Instead of 400,000 frames per second, 10 million frames per second. And see if at filmed at 10 million frames per second, if you can actually see the crack propagate through the glass very clearly. Now 10 million frames per second is an insanely high frame rate. That's around 100 nanoseconds per frame. So in the video that the slow-mo guys posted, they measured the propagation of the wave of breaking glass through their long pane of glass at around 1500 meters per second. That's around 3300 miles per hour. For reference, a bullet, the average bullet goes around 1,700 miles per hour. So that's about twice as fast as a bullet. So you can see that in order to capture the speed of an individual crack forming through a pane of glass, you need an extremely high frame rate. Now if you try to look up the speed of glass breaking, you might see some differing values. That's because the speed at which glass breaks depends on the type of glass and it depends on whether it's tempered or not. And what's really interesting about the speed of glass breaking is that the velocity of a crack propagating through glass actually speeds up the longer it's been cracking. That's because the glass molecules are under tension and as they separate, they release energy. And so that gives the crack more energy to propagate. So it starts out slow, and then it goes faster as it goes on. In fact, the actual curve of glass breaking looks something like this. So this is the crack velocity on the y-axis here, and this is something called a stress factor. And this varies depending on the type of glass, but it also varies as the crack propagates through the glass. So you can see that at the very initial break point of glass, the crack velocity speed is very slow, 10 to the negative 9 meters per second. But it only stays at that velocity for an extremely short amount of time. As it begins to break more and more, it speeds up and up and up, and eventually it maxes out at the speed of sound in glass. For this specific chart here, I put 10 to the 3 meters per second. That's an average speed of sound in glass. For different types of glass, especially tempered glass, the speed of sound can be much higher than this. So you can see that as the glass breaks, it releases more energy until eventually it's traveling at its terminal velocity. And the terminal velocity of the crack propagating through glass is the speed of sound. It can't go faster than the speed of sound in glass. But even though this maximum is the speed of sound in glass, it's actually much higher than the speed of sound in air. That's why in that slow-mo video, they said their glass was propagating at Mach 4, four times the speed of sound in air. But actually, it was just propagating at about the speed of sound in glass. Okay, first we're gonna be seeing what it looks like to break glass at just 1,000 frames per second with a low projectile velocity. So let's see if we can pick up anything at just 1,000 frames per second with dropping a ball on this piece of glass here. Okay, three, two, one. That was a pretty cool break. <laughs> Now, first thing you'll notice is that we couldn't actually see the propagation of the individual cracks through the glass. It basically just happened instantaneously. And the next thing you'll notice is that how the glass formed here is in these jagged patterns. But you'll notice something quite different when you break tempered glass. Tempered glass tends to break in small little tiny individual square pieces or rectangular pieces. So there's a ton of cracks in the surface area, whereas in this pane of glass, there's only a few cracks through the whole thing. And that's because tempered glass is formed so that the surface of it is under compression. And so when it breaks, it has a lot of energy to release. And that energy forms more cracks. And so when the cracks propagate, they release energy. So if you look at number of cracks per surface area, you'll notice that in tempered glass, 
there's a ton of cracks, whereas in normal annealed glass like this, there's not a lot of cracks. And so the more energy stored in the glass, the more small little cracks it's gonna form. And the less energy, the bigger cracks it's gonna form. And so the stronger the glass and the more tempered it is, meaning the more compression is on the surface, the smaller little cracks it's gonna make. Okay, so a thousand frames per second didn't even come close to catching the cracks propagating through the glass. Luckily, my friends from Shimatsu allowed me to use footage from their Hypervision HPVX camera filmed at 10 million frames per second in ultra high resolution. So I'm going to be showing you a high velocity projectile ball shot at a pane of glass filmed at 10 million frames per second. Okay, three, two, one. This is amazing. I've never seen footage like this before where you can actually see the cracks individually forming, combining together and moving forward. And then here's another shot of a little bit higher resolution. Now these cracks propagating through are moving several times faster than the speed of a bullet. So you can see that the ball is moving at extreme velocities, but you can't even see it moving in the frame. That's because it's filmed at 10 million frames per second. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. And if you haven't subscribed to the Action Lab subscription box yet, go check it out. It's a new subscription box that I launched where you can do experiments similar to the ones that you see me do on my channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.